This short video is on the whole process of coming into awareness of the breath. And this is very useful at the beginning of many different types of meditation. Uh, but it's also particularly useful when you're doing a breath meditation like the mindfulness of breathing or awareness of the breath meditation. So it's more the principles that I'm looking at here rather than the methods themselves. So on the basis of having set up a good posture and your in general intention to arrive into experience directly, you then specifically start to bring your awareness to the body. Now again, the definition I'm using here of awareness is in experience feeling or being in the experience of the sensations or the qualities or the feelings of the body rather than being distant, noticing or observing or thinking about what's going on. So you might, for example, very quietly, very gently drop the term the body into your mind. You're sort of pointing your attention into the experience of the body. You're arriving into the body. And you're just very gently and occasionally dropping terms in like here in the body or feel the body. And in that way you start to turn towards what is here in experience in the body. You start to actually notice in a direct way rather than in a, a sort of thinking about kind of way what is here. You start to actually feel it, sense it, be it. You're coming into the experience of the body and this is a very good, even if not the best way, of approaching awareness of the breath. So from this being in the body generally, noticing the body, uh, you can then make the transition to being aware of the breath. And again, you can point yourself in the direction of the breath with the word, the breath. Just like that, the breath. And in that way, it's like an invitation. You're inviting the mind to, to notice or turn towards the experiences of the breath. So again, you can use words that are descriptive of experience. So come into the experience caused by the breathing process. And in that way, you then start to notice or come into it the experience of the most obvious sensations. Now, it might be high, it might be in the throat, it might be in the chest, it might have to do with the rhythm of the breath. So, you might actually say that the most obvious, the most obvious sensations of the breath. And in that way, you start to invite the, the mind to arrive into an experience of the breath. Now, what this approach is countering is a habit or a, a propensity to force oneself onto the breath or push oneself onto the breath, which is not useful in meditation. So this approach allows the, the sensations to, as it were, come to you. You're open and they come to you. They fill the space that you've made for them. So in this way, you actually come into the most obvious experiences of the breath, wherever they are. And then you've arrived into the breath and you can start then to uh, follow the rhythm of the breath as it comes in and goes out, 
the whole sense of it, the continuity or particular sensations. Or you can then start with a formal meditation method or me meditation technique like the mindfulness of breathing or a meditation, meditation with different stages. But this sort of setting up of your, your, your awareness, experiential awareness into the breath is a very good foundation for then continuing with an awareness of the breath.